We had a client that called on Sunday, and it's not a problem. I have. To, I just took a deep breath. Y'all could tell, and that's you know. But anyway, I just needed a breath to go through this because when you think about it, it it's it's a little bit frustrating. But the phone call went like this. You know, they complaining, and the, the message is, "I need to speak to someone right away about an invoice that I received that I sh- am sure." Now, you guys know where I'm going with this, right? I'm sure it was sent in error. I'm not saying we're perfect and don't send out invoices in error occasionally. But but why do, why does the message start out like that? Is it that they're trying to show their dominance? That, hey, you know, I'm not paying this. You know, I'm not going to pay this. You know, I received an invoice for $400 plus and... You know, that that's crazy for replacing a few shrubs and, you know, doing a little mulching. And well, first of all, on the invoice, it clearly stated, you know, after I was speaking with Kyle this morning about it and he looked it up and, you know, it clearly stated there was no charge on the invoice for the shrubs we replaced and they were out of warranty anyway, you know. But as a goodwill gesture, we had replaced three laurels, they're called, not a type of shrub, doesn't matter, you know. But but part of that for them, and, and was in Kyle's email to this person, was, hey, you know, we're going to replace th- those uh, plants for you, and we're also going to flip and top dress the mulch when we're there, and that'll be billed to extras separately, is actually how it says. Okay, well, and it clearly stated on the invoice that, hey, the shrubs were placed, no cost, and we built them strictly for volume on on mulch, which which was less than, which was less than what we generally charge to mulch that particular facility or yard, because we just top dressed it. It was it was that simple, you know. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to read this text here real quick. Why do customers freak out about invoices that they may not owe for? Any person using common sense won't pay anyway. You know, that that's true, too. You know, if it, if it was an unjust invoice, you're not going to pay it anyway, and we're going to say, hey, man, I'm really sorry we sent it out. In this case, this was a justified invoice that was sent out, a little over 400 bucks, and you thought it was, you know, we were asking for, you know, her, her deed to her house, you know, so, uh, we reached out to her this morning and the phone conversation went like, well, I'm not, I'm not paying it, you know? And after trying to be very smooth and professional about it, Kyle did, this was his customer. And, um, uh, he's like, okay, well, here's what's going to happen. You know, you're going to pay it or we're sending it to collections. You make the choice. You know, but dad always said, give a customer a choice between something and something else. We did the goodwill side of replacing the shrubs, even though we shouldn't have or didn't have to, but did. But we want to be paid for the mulch that we told you we were going to do. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just that simple. Well, you know, then it's like, well, I can't believe you're going to do that. And again, then guess where the conversation went? Absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. It went to, well, I'm not going to use your service anymore. And, you know, I'm not going to tell any of my friends, you know, I'm not going to recommend your business to anybody. And, you know, that goes back to the old thing. We kind of joke around here. It's not funny, but you might as well laugh about it a little bit. Whenever they tell you, I'm not going to recommend you to my friends and you look in their file or you look on your computer CRM system and you, you see how many people they've referred you and there's a goose egg sitting up there. You know, they always want to hold that as leverage. Well, I'm not going to refer you to my friends. Well, looking at your past history, it doesn't look like you've referred us to anybody anyway. So thank you for that support. You know, I mean, we're not telling them that, but, you know, that's just the reality of it. But don't threaten me with you're not going to pay because you are going to pay. I mean, ultimately, maybe you're not going to pay, but we're not just going to have mulch soup tag Right, we're not going to make soup out of uh, the small gym voice. You know, we kind of joke about it with deer tag soup. You know, if you don't get a deer, what do you do? You know, you've already bought your tag. Well, the same thing here. 
we're going to do what we have to do to try to collect that money that is rightfully ours. And I share that story with you to tell you this story. The next message on the machine, and I swear to goodness this is the truth, is a guy calling up and saying, hey, you know, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's so crazy. The first complaint's a $400 invoice, and the next message is saying, hey, give me a call. I want you guys to swing by and pick up a check for the remaining balance of that landscape y'all completed last week. I'm not comfortable sending a $16,000 check in the mail, and I'd like for you guys to look at something in my front yard about maybe doing something in the front yard. Now, it's two completely different ends of the spectrum, and obviously two completely completely different mindsets on clients, right? We didn't give the person any better service that says, hey, swing by and pick up the balance of the landscape. Y'all completed it last week. You know, I just don't feel comfortable sending a $16,000 check in. But then you got somebody crying over a $400 invoice for a little bit of mulch. I mean, it goes back to what Hecuba says all the time that a customer's perception is our reality. You know, we already spent 40 minutes this morning, or not we, Kyle did, spent 30, 40 minutes doing the research on that complaint, calling them back, talking to them, spent 20 minutes on the phone with them, you know, and well, I'm not paying, I'm not paying. But then on the other spectrum, you got somebody completely satisfied. So you're going to have that within your business. 